I think we have reached a pivotal point where we'll start looking at how AI might start actually thinking in pieces while in a very ethical manner. Somewhere around 2022, we'll actually beat the number of humans that exist by the devices that are deployed. It's not just about shiny gadgets and technology. There's always a human toll on us. So DB Hacks really started as an idea for an event, and it's exploded into something much bigger than that. So yes, it's an opportunity to bring in really smart people to DV, but it's also a way for us to put a stake in the ground, talk about something that we're passionate about and that's very now, whether that's mobility or AI or blockchain or something else that doesn't even exist yet. DV Hacks gives us an opportunity to play in that space. We are the Disney uh, land for engineers who want to become venture CTOs or want to become CTOs. For the first day, it's uh, ideating on products. Second day is much more about those ideas becoming through to fruition, starting to see evidence of things being built, and then obviously putting the finishing touches towards this, the end of the second day to third day, putting the bells and whistles on it. When people walk into the door, they might just have an idea, but in 48 hours, they walk out with a business. We're not interested in just a feature. We're looking for holistic businesses that will solve a real problem, help real people, and hopefully make a lot of money. The three key areas where we see new innovation coming out. One, we call it uh, human computation, and we call it human computation 2.0 because we've tried that in the past. Secondly, it's no surprise, I think voice video and what we do with speech, that is actually entering the next stage. Finally, autonomous everything. We don't have to think about it. We can just go do things and then think, well, all these things have been sorted out for you. Now your brain doesn't focus on calculating on a day-to-day -day basis. It's all happening by default. What do you now do next? The team that was the most impressive, that is chasing a multi-billion dollar opportunity that is real, is Magic Carp. So without any further ado, Magic Carp, the winner. Innovation does not happen in just one, four walls out there. So we need to bring a community together. So it's a fresh breather, bringing different ideas. And it also helps us identify who are the like-minded engineers. How do we bring them into our ecosystems to build the next set of innovative solutions? I actually even told these teams, like, hey, you could walk out billionaire tomorrow <laughs> after the award. So I truly believe it because, you know, it's the mindset which you need to actually compete with. So I think that's very important.